I am very sorry to my students and my parents this year, but in reality, I'm not the best teacher for this situation. A heartbreaking decision for Erica Bean, who has taught middle school science, social studies, and language arts at Western Guilford for almost 20 years. You just try your best to make it interactive and have fun with them. Erica, like many teachers in the triad, is juggling online students, technology glitches, and helping her own children. It was just a lot. It's very time consuming. The stress was not only getting to Erica, but her family as well. Her son missed one day of first grade last week because she was struggling to keep up with her online classroom. And her daughter, who just started fourth grade, recently made a comment that struck a chord. My daughter said, you help those kids more than you help us. I got to take a step back. I need to stop because um, she was not wrong. To Erica, online learning is just not the same as being in a physical classroom. I like the text and physically putting your hand down to the paper and writing notes is different from uh, doing it on a computer screen. She feels information is not being retained. There was never a satisfaction. Okay. That went really well. That went really good. She understands the anger and frustration of Guilford County families learning from home and says teachers are in the same boat. When you feel that anger, find that patience uh, for us because a lot of us, uh, you know, we're learning at the same time and we will make mistakes. Erica's last day is September 15th and she plans to use her free time to focus on her two kids. And to all my students who I've had, I sure do miss you and I love you. And thank you.